five, four, three, two, one, blast off. It's your boy Op Z here. Day 160. 160 days in the book. Today is Affirmation Saturdays. I already started the day off. Listen to my affirmations. Got big plans for affirmations. Um, but one thing I did do this morning, I already read my Bible this morning. Uh, listen to my affirmations. I already exercised because I said, while I was in there, let's just do a mini Miracle Morning by Al Hillrod. Uh, Hal Elrod. Because me and my daughter talked about that. We could just make the dominoes smaller. And we could knock down those dominoes. So I decided to go ahead and do Because we always do it. I'm already doing a portion of that anyway. I think we all are. We just ain't doing all of it for an extended period of time. And being more purposeful with it. This whole journey of mine is just being more purposeful with the time that I have and the seed that I'm planting in my heart, see? So, so what I got here, I'm ready for every traffic light because remember the last time, a couple times back, we were trying to read our affirmations before going to work, you know, and, and with a morning routine, it can, all the little things can kind of add up, but I, I'm a guy, I, I believe that it's, it's things between the lines that we can squeeze in. There's a lot of time between the lines that go untapped. You know, just like, you know, people mining for oil, they get the oil right, but then another company comes in and they get the oil sand. So, you know, and then you got your waste and your byproducts that people are using that. So it's useless for everything, right? You just got to pray and ask the Lord how to use it. That's the deal. How can I use this most efficiently, most effectively? But with my affirmation, got a traffic light coming up. It will probably, I think this will hold for about a minute. So I get my affirmations right here next to me. So that when a traffic light comes up, you know, normally a traffic light make you upset. But guess what? <laughs> Are your boy happy? If I get to a stop, see, for a change. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's say, today I abandon my old habits and take up new, more positive ones. My ability to conquer my challenges is limitless. My potential to succeed is infinite. I am the architect of my life. I build this foundation and choose its contents. Man, look at that. What a, what a wonderful use for a traffic light, right? You know, you get to a point, it's like going for no, right? It's just like going for no. Because you get to, you change the meaning of the word no. Just like I'm changing the meaning of these traffic lights. I'm going to change the meaning of a traffic jam. Or with, with my plans are being held up, I can change that meaning. It's just a perception. That's all it is by having some like these these affirmations to kind of go in there or just like I'm changing the meaning of exercising you know until it get to a point but now I like to exercise so I can watch movies because that's the way I condition myself that it's a rule I made that I won't watch movies or my favorite shows unless I'm exercising so when I get that feeling going on and I'll be like dog man I wonder what's going on in the show or when I get ready to put my clothes on, go to exercise, I feel a sense of excitement because it's like I'm being transported somewhere else. I'm really into the show because normally what I do, I put on noise canceling headphones and then I turn the lights out and then I put that, the show right, I'm just right in on the show. It's just me and the show in the dark, grinding it out. It's just perfect, right? Yeah, it's perfect. So I'm trying to just share that with you as well too. But about these affirmations, I'm going to be saying these affirmations throughout the day. You know, getting them down in my spirit so that when challenges come, challenges arrive, I'll be able to say them and, and that's have a different perspective. And that's all it does. Now, Al Hillrod said that he does his affirmations a little different. I'm gonna look at his instructions of the affirmations and maybe go over some of his own affirmations. 
but he said you just have to spend a little extra time to construct the affirmation so there's no conflict or what's the word some fancy word it's almost like being a hypocrite right you know but you're just fooling yourself we're not doing that but it's a start right it's a start so that's what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the day looks like ladies and gentlemen guess what looks like another traffic light is up here your boy's getting half out baby to go through one or two more affirmations before I hit the traffic light up oh, uh, it's red it's red look good looking good let me go ahead and get over to this lane it's looking good. I think we got a good candidate. Let's whip that back out. I have great ideas and make great contributions. I am surrounded with people who push me to be my best self. My mind is clear of self-doubt and I am ready to embrace every challenge that comes my way. I am learning to trust the journey. My actions are intentional and they bring me closer to my goals. I teach others to believe in me by believing in myself. How about that? Boom, and then it's green again. That's good stuff, right? That's good stuff. Now, I'm gonna share some stuff with uh, another part of me once I get to work. Cause I have been, you know, some other areas I had been really targeting, you know, talking to a lot of different people. But one of them, one guy that's kind of pretty perceptive, you know, receptive. And uh, give me a lot. It's, it's a deeper thinker, and it kind of reflects a lot of stuff back on me. But I'm gonna tell you something that was wonderful, man. That exercise that I had last night with my wife, you know, that I've been been uh, praying to build that bond. And so, you know, I made it kind of a, a thing that I'm gonna do what she likes to do. She likes to exercise, and I'm gonna start exercising with her. And then we had a nice conversation afterwards, a little bit about the future, right? A little bit about the plans and ideas that she has. And I kind of made sure, and this is the part that I'm working on, I think that muscle's getting stronger too, this 160 days. I kept my mouth shut. And every time somebody say something, that's what I've been working on at work as well too, in every conversation. Every time somebody say something, it doesn't mean that they need me to solve the problem. They don't really need a solution. They just want a sounding board to see how that thing sound out. So that's what I've been working on too. My listening skills and my uh, my ninja skills of silence. And so a lot of times, you know, people ask me stuff at work. I, I wait till they ask me, you know, once or twice because in the room now, in the room, we're in the room, we're sitting in a, in a, uh, a large room, maybe four or five people in there, and the people throw questions out. And so I, I bite my lip because I know my ego want to jump in, have that right answer, get into this conversation. But I end up, I just sit there and listen and hold it down, you know. That's where I do the reps. That's where I do them squats. I'm keeping that mouth shut, you see what I'm saying? Build that muscle up and let them solve it, let them handle it, let them work it out. Because that's one of the problems that, uh, you know, the one thing says, you try to do too much, you can't do everything. You gotta let other people do some of the stuff too. Just cause you know the answer don't mean you have to necessarily give them the answer. They need to find, cause it, it's gonna work out. It's always gonna work out. No matter what, it's gonna work out. Cause that's life. You know, challenges pop up and you know, used to get worried about it, worked up, worked up about it. It's gonna work out. It's gonna be with me. As long as you got your health, as long as you got your family, you, know, you got a plan in place. Just tweak your plan. It's just not. Maybe that wasn't a result that you wanted or a result that you can change. But it's gonna work out, man. I tell you, it's, it's, I like it. So, it's your boy Obzi, do it to life, full life, do it to you. 2021. Yeah, mental breast cancer awareness, where that's taking me, I don't know. Am I rethinking that, right? Am I rethinking that? Was that, was that an ulterior motive for me picking that, right? We'll see. Because guess what? I can change directions, right? But right now, this is what 
this is what I believe is going to be something in this area, right? It's got to be. It can only be good if I help out breast cancer. It can only be good, right? So, boy, I'm out.